This video will review a few of the updated features on Word Online um, so that you can know how to set up your MLA formatting. So when you're in My Hines, you want to click the Word option under the My Office 365 uh, section. And you're going to open up a new document. All right, most of this will look exactly like a regular Microsoft Word, uh, word processing uh, document, but there are a few differences. So let's just go over those and I'll show you how to set up the, um, the formatting correctly. So you can just save it by naming it. I'm just going to say SA1 outline here. It's automatically saved. Um, if you're not already in the Home tab, click the Home tab and you're going to Make the font Times New Roman, 12. Okay, um, you're going to want double spacing. So what you want to do is go over here where it has more paragraph options. And you're going to go to line spacing, 2. Okay, you're going to do that again, except you're going to click on a different option. Okay, so click these three little um, dots for more paragraph options. And for line spacing, go to line spacing options. And under this section where it says spacing before and after, you want both of those to read zero. And that makes sure that um, there's not an extra space between the lines when you hit the enter button. So under spacing, before and after should both be zero. All right, so you've got your font. Uh, you've got your spacing correct. You want your class information. So I'm just going to say Jane Smith. Mrs. Spikes, so your name, my name, then the class section, ENG1123 would be Comp 2. Um, if it's Comp 1, ENG1113. Okay, so I'm just going to do 2 3 for this class. Then you want the day, at, the date as the day, month, year. So I'm just going to say 7th of, um, 7th of February 2020. Then you're going to center your title. So you go right here. That's the text alignment to this button. All right? You want the center. Click title. When you hit enter, you're going to have to go back to the text alignment and click left. Okay? And of course, when you begin a paragraph, you're going to click the tab button to indent. Um, you also need to insert page numbers. Now, many of you are going to be tempted to maybe click this thing that says header. Uh, don't do that. What you need to do is go to the Insert tab, and up here, go by header and footer and click on Page Numbers. So don't try header and footer, click Page Numbers. And under that, you want this one on the top right, um, so that the page number gets inserted into the right side of the header. Okay? And you're going to see this strange uh, little symbol, and it basically is telling uh, the Word program to change the numbers on each page. You also want to insert your last name and a space, and the page number will update automatically on each page. Now, it's good if you change the font so that it's Times New Roman and matches the rest of the paper. Okay, now it's not going to appear um, unless you click the header, and then you can see it, but it's there, okay, and it will change on each page. When you're finished, you've got your paper done like you like, get a file, save as, and you click download a copy and make sure it's the Word option and not the PDF option. So make sure it's the one with the Word icon, okay, and you're going to download a copy to your computer, and then you're going to upload it to Canvas for whatever your assignment is. And that's it.